everyone, welcome back to Onyx Pages. It has been a minute, so I thought that I would start with a number of life and channel updates. So I feel as though I have made a number of different promises about restarting the channel or getting back into videos for YouTube. And then I kind of feel like I don't. So I'm not going to make any promises right now except to say that when it feels right, when I have the time, I am going to share books with you and share updates with you and all sorts of things like that. So I may or may not get back into a rhythm and I'm pretty okay with that. I have noticed that a number of booktubers who I used to follow um, or booktubers who I follow um, have sort of indicated that they are no longer going to be doing content or have just kind of faded out. Um, and I think that I think that that is I've seen this happen a couple of times. I started my channel in 2017. Um, and in that time, I've there have been at least three seasons of booktube exodus, um, where content creators are sort of like, you know what, this is a lot, it's not really worth it. It's not impacting my life, the the payoff that I get isn't worth um, the effort that I put into it. I am not I, I respect that, that, that position and the decisions that go with it. That's not where I'm at. For me, what's happening is that other areas of my life have changed and have required me to devote my attention there. But also I am entering into another sort of creative phase in my life and the creative energy that was exclusively devoted to Onyx pages is now being spread out to a couple of other projects. So that is what's happening. But I will say that I have started to watch more booktube videos again and I'm finding myself getting excited um, to create content uh, right now. So that's why you will probably see this shirt uh, a couple of different times because I am likely to batch film. To explain the makeup look, today is Caravana in Toronto and I played Mass and had a wonderful time. Maybe there'll be some video here, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but this is my carnival makeup and I thought, you know what, she did such a great job, let me just get as much mileage as I possibly can out of the makeup look. So let me tell you about some life updates uh, and ch maybe sort of channel updates. I've got my list here. So I will be doing a booktube, um, like a mid-year freakout tag, um, but I have read nine books this year and I'm currently on my, my tenth book. So, so far compared to the past couple of years, my reading pace has picked up a little bit. I have recommitted to slow reading and so uh, my goal is, I haven't actually set a goal, but it's probably in the 20 to 30, 25 to 35 range uh, and we're in August right now and I've read nine books so it's probably likely that I will be at around 20 by the end of the year we shall see um, and I've liked what I've read for the most part um, I've mixed it up just a little bit I've started to introduce what I would consider sort of af Afrofuturism or um, speculative like black speculative nonfiction and I'll talk about one such book in um, the mid the mid year freak out tag, or in a wrap up like a semi annual wrap up or whatever. And you'll have a sense of what I mean by that. But I'm trying to expand my understanding of what speculative writing could particularly look like, um, and I'm trying to read uh, speculative works in different genres uh, and different sort of modes like poetry or nonfiction writing self-help um so that's interesting to me um my love is still with science fiction and fantasy and mundane dy dystopian so but we'll, we'll we'll see if that changes um another update is 
that, and this will be in another video, I do have uh, the winners for the seven cowrie shell contest uh, that I initiated some time ago. So I will be um, telling you who those individuals are and reiterating the books that they have won. And I also will describe the the new seven cowrie shell rating system. Um, I have received uh, a very exciting arc. You know that it is Blackheart Man. I'm currently by Nalo Hopkinson, my favorite author, and I'm reading it right now. And I'm having one of those experiences where I want to read slowly because I am enjoying it so much. It's a buddy read for me, uh, and I'm I'm pretty excited about that because I haven't buddy read in a while and. The content creator I'm buddy reading with is uh, somebody who I have. But I'm, I'm buddy reading for the first time with her, and uh, I'm I'm really excited to sort of see how we feel about about reading the book. But I know that a number of uh, booktubers, Black booktubers, have received copies of Black Heart Man and are currently reading it. It comes out on the 20th of August, and so um, I'm happy to be amongst people who are super excited about another uh, offering from Nalo Hopkinson, who is amazing. Um, in real life, I have participated in a number of groups. So I am part of a silent reading club in Toronto. Um, I'm also part of a black woman's book club. And we read Chains Chainsaw Massacre, no, Chain Gang All-Stars, and we discussed it, and it was an incredible experience. Um, and I am also, like, just finding different opportunities to connect with people in person about books. Like, I have a friend, we go for walks on Sundays, we read The Color Purple together, and then we talked about it in the park. So I'm looking forward to more opportunities like that and I'm really excited that they're popping up uh, in Toronto more often and I'm really loving not having to organize things I I'm a natural leader and I'm a very good planner and an excellent organizer so it's something that I will just do without being asked but I do after a while kind of find myself longing to just be the one who goes to something and has no leadership responsibilities so it's like the universe was like oh you want that okay here you go sweet so now there are a number of different groups that I'm a part of and I just feel like I can contribute as a general member as opposed to having to be the leader which is refreshing and very satisfying um, I will and by uh, giving you one more uh, update, which is a pretty significant one, and that is I have started my writing journey uh, proper. So I've been to a writing retreat. Uh, it was an incredible experience. It is the, um, the Island Scribe Writing Retreat um, for black women and uh, individuals who were designated female at birth. Um, and I went to my first writing retreat in uh, Dominica, like first multiple day retreat. And it was, again, a very refreshing and wonderful experience. Earlier this year, I went to a one day city sanctuary writing retreat for folks uh, of color, black indigenous and people of color. Uh, and that was in Toronto. And so I've been to two writing retreats this year I've written some pieces and I'm going to be submitting to um, an anthology later this year and I'm really proud of myself for taking this step. I am nervous about it. I'm doing it despite the nervousness. Um, you've got to start somewhere and I'm very grateful to people who have listened to my stories and who have provided feedback um, along the way. So definitely doing something new. I can definitely say, how many times can I say definitely right now? I will say that I um, I am benefiting from all the reading that I've done. I know what I like to read and that's helping me shape what I am writing or at least how I am expressing the ideas that I have. So there's that. Um, I think that's all for life updates. So. 
you are going to see this t-shirt again. I had the opportunity to be in Barbados during Pride. So this is my Barbados Pride t-shirt. Um, so you're going to see this again because there are a number of videos that are going to be filmed right now. So remember to read with purpose. And if you have watched this all the way to the end of the video, I would love a spark emoji and a and a check mark emoji because I'm doing things I'm checking things off the list and I have a spark of creativity so until I see you again read with purpose thank you very much for watching if you are not already subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel and I also encourage you to consider whether there are other people who might benefit from the hundreds of videos on this channel that I've already filmed if you think that somebody would like onyx pages can you share the channel with them and encourage them to watch I'm really proud of the content that I've created and I would really appreciate your help sharing uh, the content and just telling people about uh, the work that I do because I think it's uh, I think I'm doing a good thing all right see you next time